Hey, welcome to Too Many Gadgets. So today I'm talking about air purifiers, a topic that I've covered before looking at the Xiaomi 2H. This time I'm looking at the Xiaomi Pro model. So when we're talking about air purifiers, there are really two scenarios where it can help you. So the obvious one being if you, like me, have a person in the household that has allergies, this device, which is not a medical device, can help sort of alleviate some of the uh, yeah, annoyances around that by taking some of the, the particles out of the air that could be of, uh, of a nuisance to persons with, uh, with allergies. But again, it, it can, you can't replace this with the, the medication and stuff like this that you have, but it can alleviate some of the, 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 yeah, the, the irritations that you may get in, in periods of summertime like it's, we're closing to now with the grass uh, and pollen and stuff like that being, uh, being in the air. The other scenario where it can be of a help is in the kitchen actually, where uh, when you're cooking, uh, when you have a device like this, you will actually find you know that uh, all of a sudden it uh, kicks in and starts to help cleaning the air because when you cook, you create a lot of uh, particles and also stuff that might smell. So this can again be helped out by having a device like this in the kitchen area. So something that you may not have thought about, but where a device like this can actually do some good. But let's have a look at the specifications and how you install it. The device is 73 centimeters tall and 26 centimeters wide. It can clean up to 500 cubic meters of air per hour, which would cover an area of 34 to 60 square meters. The power rating is between 4 to 66 kilowatts, and the noise level gets up to 64 decibels at the highest. You can connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it doesn't require a hub, and it has a PM2.5 sensor. You can change the filters and there are three to choose from. So the idea behind these devices is that it, it has a sensor that will measure particles or droplets below two and a half micron, which is of a size that can cause irritations to nose, lungs, stuff like that. So when uh, those type of particles become of a too high of amount, you will uh, noticeably hear this device start increasing its power in how much air it sucks through the sides and then through the filter and then the air is being pushed out of the top, uh, then cleaned uh, from going through the filter. So the device will constantly monitor how many particles that are uh, of this uh, type in the room that it's sitting in, and then adjust its sort of how much air it presses through the filter to not make too much noise if uh, the air is clean, but if too many particles uh, are present, then it will increase until it detects again that the air quality is uh, is to a standard um, where it's uh, more suitable and then it will decrease. So you will probably not notice it when it's just sitting there in the background. But again, once the particle number becomes too high, you will notice it because it's quite, in, in those periods, it's quite loud, but it usually only takes like a couple of minutes, then it will usually have cleaned there enough to uh, go back to sort of the normal, let's say standby level. And with the OLED display in front, you are never in doubt about you know, uh, what the particle number is, which is one of the big advantages of this Pro model compared to some of the other modules, which only has like a small uh, light indicator, uh, lighting green, yellow, or red, uh, compared to this where you can see the exact number of particles that is present. It's a super easy device to have around because it pretty much takes care of itself. You don't need to do anything. It's fully automated. It will monitor the air quality and decrease or increase the, the sort of activity uh, according to the number of particles that it detects. The display will give you those information prior to mentioned, so the temperature, the air humidity, and then the particle count. You can turn off the display if you find it too distracting, and you can also follow all of the three uh, numbers in the app. But again, in reality, you don't use the app for this device pretty much after you set it up because it takes care of itself, so it's super easy to have around. 
And the only thing you need to do ever so often, and that could be like six months to a year, depending on how much uh, active the device is, you need to change the filter and it only takes like a couple of minutes and it's easy to do so. Also because the filter is the same for all of these air purifiers from Xiaomi. The only difference between the different models is how much air they can clean per hour really. And this is the Pro model and it, it, it's the second highest rated for the amount of air that it can clean per hour. So you have the option to uh, enter this device into the Mi Home app, but you don't need to if you don't want to. So again, you can uh, attach this to the Wi-Fi and then you can follow the, the device in the, in the Mi Home app. But if you don't see the need for that, you can just have it as a standalone device with no problem. It doesn't need the app to function. What I've done is uh, within the app that I've turned on off the notification sound when someone operates the button on the, on the top of the device. And I've also uh, done an automation which automatically sets it into night mode at 10 o'clock at night and then turns the, the night mode off in the morning. The night mode, just to put a few words on that, is really all about that it's a little more forgiving about not turning on the most aggressive mode of cleaning air during the night if the particle count goes up. So this is uh, to be recommended if you have this sitting in a bedroom where people are sleeping next to it because they will probably be woken up by it if it goes into the sort of high mode when it's uh, yeah cleaning air during the night. This device and the other air purifiers from Xiaomi, again, all use the same type of filters. So you don't need to sort of uh, figure out which model you have to find out which filter suits you. you the same filters will all apply to all of the Xiaomi air purifiers lineup. There are three to choose from. So the standard one that comes with the device is the HEPA filter. And then you can choose an antibacterial filter and an anti-formaldehyde filter, depending on what type of yeah, particles you want to sort of focus on. Hope you found this uh, information useful. If you want to buy this device, it will cost you just a little bit over $200 on AliExpress, and I'll leave a link in the description field, and that's including shipping. This is pretty much a setup and then forget device because it, it takes care of itself and you'll hardly notice it unless in the few minutes, you know, when you are cooking or something else has happened that will cause it to sort of increase the amount of air that it's cleaning per minute. In those, uh, yeah, in those situations, you will notice it because it, it gets fairly loud, but uh, in the other, yeah, 99% of the time, you will hardly notice it. So it's a pretty easy device to have around. And I think, you know, the, the, the price is not scary compared to what it can do for you. And again, this is both for, for those of you who are perhaps wanting to have a little bit of help with your, with your allergies, or if you want to have uh, it in the kitchen where it can also help clean the air in those situations where you are cooking and you know, uh, yeah, you are creating a lot of particles uh, that could cause the air to be, yeah, less nice in, the, in those situations. So it's a good reminder, you know, when you have it in the kitchen and it kicks in, that uh, you also perhaps need to just help it out by opening up a window to get some fresh air into your, your house. Hope you found this useful. See you guys in another video. Bye.